In this brief video, I'm gonna provide a very quick overview of Power Keys and how it helps you edit faster in Lightroom Classic. So let's start with the first tab, the sliders tab, right? So what you can do in, in Power Keys is instead of making adjustments by coming over here and moving the slider, moving the slider, moving the slider, looking at the image, moving the slider, uh, instead of doing that, you can just assign keyboard shortcuts to uh, make changes to those sliders, right? So here you can see what I have set up and if I need to, for example, um, increase the exposure, I would just press R, right, to increase it and then it changes and then I press E and it'll bring it down, right? And so very easy to keep my eyes on the image and um, make adjustments to, you know, all the sliders that I wanna make adjustments to while my eyes remain looking at the image that I'm editing, right? So this is much more efficient uh, and it, honestly, it's just a more enjoyable way to edit in Lightroom Classic. Okay. So that's sliders, very briefly. Um, and then we have shortcuts. So shortcuts, you can you know, assign um, keyboard shortcuts to functionality that doesn't already have functionality in, uh, or shortcuts in Lightroom Classic. That's one thing, uh, such as this auto straighten here, right? So if I were to um, trigger that, auto straighten is triggered with a keyboard shortcut. You can't do that natively uh, in Lightroom Classic, right? Uh, we also have things like aspect ratios uh, and transform. Those cannot be done natively in Lightroom Classic either. But if you have things that, uh, functionality that does exist inside of Lightroom Classic and you just wanna remap those keyboard shortcuts, you can do that as well. For example, match total exposures is this super complicated uh, keyboard shortcut, but for me, I have it set to Command M, right? So it's a lot simpler to just press Command M than it is four different uh, you know, keys on my keyboard, right? So you can, you, you can customize your shortcuts to uh, work specific to your particular needs, right? And then the final thing uh, with um, Power Keys is the develop presets, right? So you can assign shortcuts to all your develop presets, right? So in this case, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I have um, option one assigned to uh, this preset here, and I'm just gonna press option one. And as you can see, the preset was applied. All the settings were applied. We're good to go, right? So all of these things combined just allow you to speed through editing in a really efficient, enjoyable way.